Hello and welcome to PrisonInmates.com's tutorial on how to use CoreLinks.com. CoreLinks is the federal government's system for federal inmates to send and receive electronic messages. It's not real email, it's based uh, like on forms, so your messages have to go back and forth through the CoreLinks.com website. But in order to do that, you need to have been invited by an inmate to correspond with him on CoreLinks, and you will get an email with an identification code. So what I'm going to do is show you now. We've received an inmate invitation to correspond on CoreLinks from this gentleman. And um, as you can see, this is what the emails look like. A lot of times these emails go to spam, so if you're expecting one of these and haven't received it, check your spam box. It's probably in there. So when you go to create your account, basically the two most important things here are your email address and this identification code number. You're going to need those to create an account. So what you're going to do is just come up here to your address bar in your browser, go to www.corelinks.com. then you're going to click register as a new user. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is use the email address that was in the invitation. It has to match. Re-enter it. Their password has to be at least eight characters with one uppercase letter. So go ahead and put that in. And then the identification code is going to be that same identification code that was in your email, this one right here. So you just copy that, paste it right in here, agree to the terms, and hit next. So usually whenever the inmate's information pops up, there's another important thing you're going to need to look for, which is right here, enable email alert. What that's going to do is whenever this inmate, the one that you've entered the code for, whenever he sends you a message on CoreLinks, you're going to receive an email from CoreLinks telling you that he sent you an email. Basically, if you, if you accept this without this box checked, he could send you 100 emails. You're never going to know you got a message from him because you won't get an email alert. So it's really important that you check that off before you hit accept. So once you get your identification and code put in and you're logged in. It's pretty simple. Um, you're going to show up to this screen that's going to show how many messages you have in your inbox, which is probably zero when you first create your account. Um, and then you have your mailbox and account management buttons. Mostly you're just going to be dealing with the, your mailbox. Just click on there. You can click new message to create a new message inbox to see the messages that are already in there. It's all pretty self-explanatory but to create a new message you're just going to click on new message you're going to have a list of your inmates that you've uh, accepted invitations from you just click in this box and then you can click whatever email inmates name is that you'd like to send a message to you just put in your subject line put in your message and hit send it's as simple as that then wait for your reply. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit us up on our website, www.prisoninmates.com, or you can email us anytime, info at prisoninmates.com.